So he's telling us to pray that as it is in heaven, let it also be in the earth. That's what his prayer was right there. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth. Not later in heaven, but on earth. Like where? Just like it is in heaven. He would not have told us to pray that if it couldn't have happened. So right there, that is a, that is a powerful prayer that we can, we can use for so many prayers. When I'm sick, I say, Lord, I'm not supposed to be sick because, God, I, I'm in the world, but I'm not of this world. I'm not subject to the laws of this world. Everybody else gets sick, but I'm one of your kingdom citizens. Uh, citizens. And Lord, you said for me to pray that your kingdom come, your will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. God, you said it. And according to Hebrews 6.18, it is impossible for you to lie. So Lord, I pray right now that you would remove this sickness from my body. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, let me be healed of this. Let me recover from this quickly, God, because I'm not supposed to be sick. Because God, there is no sickness in heaven. Let it be in the earth. <laughs> that is powerful. Do you realize what that prayer just did right there? I have lined up with God's Word. I have asked God according to His Word. And when I ask God something according to His Word, I know that I'm going to get the answer because I've asked Him according to His Word. I'm lining up with God's Word. And God, it said, remember what this said. He said, I am watching. He is looking in the earth. I'm waiting for my Word as soon as I see somebody quote my word, because remember what his word is. His word is a decree. His word is law. And whatever he speaks, it is going to happen. He is not going to let his word go forth into the earth and let it come back void. It has to. It is impossible for God to lie. So it has to come forth. It has to accomplish what it is that he sent forth it to do. So he's sitting there saying, I have spoken my word. I have told them my word. Now I'm going to watch over my word and I'm waiting to perform it in the earth. Oh, there's somebody right there. They just said, as it is in heaven, let it be in the earth. They're reminding me right now that there's no sickness up here and that it's supposed to be that way down there and you know what I'm God and I cannot lie they acknowledge that and they realize that I have got to answer this thing and boy I tell you God is quick to bring you an answer because you line up with his word <laughs> now here's a scripture that you're going to understand you have quoted this before I've heard people misquote this I've heard them talk about this but they misquoted it and messed it all up but you're going to understand this now Matthew 16, 19. And I will give unto thee, who's thee? That's us, humans. The keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, shall what? Shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Man. Why? Why did God say this? I've given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. He didn't say to the kingdom of heaven. He said the keys of it. To access it. What, key, what is a key? It unlocks something. And when you look up this word in the Greek, bind, to bind means to lock something. To, to loose means to unlock something. So when you have unforgiveness in your heart do you know what you've done you have bought you have bound heaven you have locked it up you have locked up heaven heaven cannot open up remember if you bind it on earth it's bound in heaven god can't bring an answer if you've locked a door that's we need to understand that if we have bound it if it has been if we have locked up ourselves from heaven having access then it's, we have locked heaven from interfering. But if we unlock it, then we loose it. Lord, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm sorry. I, you know, I've had an alt against you, and I ask you just to forgive me. 
you've unlocked heaven. Your prayers can get through. But realize where this person is. We're in the earth, and he's given us the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And so now, because of his power in heaven, and because of the position that he's put us in on earth, being, being kings in the earth and giving us dominion, and we have keys there, to, of the kingdom of heaven. Now he has given us rightly access. We have rightly authority in the earth to access heaven from earth. And as it is in heaven, let the kingdom come, let it be done in the earth. And that's why he says, whatever you bind on earth, it'll be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, let it be loosed in heaven. So if I say, Lord, this thing is not supposed to be I've got poverty coming against me, but Lord, I know, God, that poverty is a curse because there is no poverty in heaven. Let it be in the earth. Lord, I lock up poverty. I bind poverty. Lord, I loose for, for what I need for a supply to come to me because I know that it's not of your kingdom for me to be without. And if you line up with God's word and you're righteous, you're in right standing with him and his kingdom, then you ask according to his will. Find those scriptures and ask him according to his word. Praise God. You're going to see mighty things happen. Prayers get answered. Because you're not asking just because you're just wanting to ask him something. You're asking according to his word. I thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to have more. We're going to be getting, uh, we're going to stay in this series of prayer because I've got more to talk about in the prayer. But I pray uh, that you would uh, go to our site, byeveryword.org. Visit often. Send me some emails. Give me some contact. Go to our Facebook page, our Twitter page. And until next time, uh, I pray God will richly bless you for the kingdom.